Cycle Solutions is your one-stop shop for upgrades and service. Cycle Solutions, Fort Myers, and CycleSolutions.com. Taking your bike from the street to the strip. It's Chris Leto from Cycle Solutions. Uh, last week I built this Stage 4 Plus 128-inch motor for our 21 Rook King Special. And today we got a day we're going to take it apart and drop the new heart inside of it. So, see, this thing is a chunk of gorgeous it's diamond cut and zippers 128 pistons jugs a brand new head from zippers a brand new cam called the 562 which allows to use roller rockers um, pretty trick motor dark horse did a gorgeous crankshaft in it it literally weighs five plus pounds less than the stock one did so the last one of these motors that we had on the dyno um, it's almost 180 horse out of 128 cubic inches. So this is going into that. So the plan is we're gonna take this brand new motor here and we're gonna build an even bigger motor and then have it at shows for sale. So we'll have a complete core and I believe it'll be 143 inch that we're gonna do for this one. So we'll go ahead and peel the primary parts Tracy's doing. We're gonna get the motor out. We're doing a Trask billet swing arm it's already got the JRI front rear suspension. You'll have a Trask billet basket, the dark horse compensator. Um, we're doing a Baker grudge box. Uh, we've also got the zippers chain drive conversion. So the only thing that's gonna be stock on this motorcycle when it's all said and done with is the frame. And that might have to change a little bit too. So now we tore the engine out this morning and we'll be building motor for sale from that one. Got the 128 inch zippers 128 stage 4 plus already installed went ahead and pulled the transmission so we'll do a couple videos about both the transmission and the drive line but just wanted to show you the difference or some differences um, and the picture's worth a thousand words between the baker grudge box and the oem transmission so bring the camera on in here and let's just take a look down at the gear set so obviously this is the stock transmission and and you start to look, this, like this particular piece is cast versus this is machine uh, billet tool steel. These are all straight cut gears versus a helical cut style gear. Uh, this would be, you see the thickness of the six gear versus those. So we're talking about a whole lot more beef right there. So this transmission actually drops the RPM in six gear, I think. 250 to 300 rpm other than that it's meant for racing so they're super tough uh, in this particular case through the thunder max we'll be able to recalibrate the speedometer so the gear indicator the speedometer everything will be dead nuts correct and accurate so on the top of the, the transmission we use the trask vent so it vents the transmission and it also vents the oil tank crankcase pressure out and that our install of it Instead of the filter being right here, we run a, go ahead and run an extra length tube. Same way we do fueling's uh, vented dipstick. So we just dropped the stock steel swing arm out of the bike, and we've removed the inserts for the axle. So going through what we're going to do, Nick Trask sent us some pretty cool stuff for this machine. Originally, I thought we were doing a zippers chain drive conversion, but I stand corrected. We're going to be doing a pretty trick piece from Trask. So. This is his chain drive conversion, which allows the use of the stock cush drive, which is a big plus. Here's the front sprocket. We'll do another video, a little more in the primary chain case uh, as we get things put back together. But the heart of this thing is the swing arm. This is the trash billet swing arm, so it's extendable. Right now it's currently in the stock length but it's one inch or two inch over. This is just a chunk of billet art. And then once it's all together, all tore together, it's got carbon fiber pieces to cover all the bolts. Super trick looking. I'm excited about this one. Pretty happy to see this in the box. So it's hard to see this, but <clears throat> we've elected to get rid of the heim joints, which are a bearing that allowed the swing arm to flex side to side. And we went with the Stabo, which is a pair of roller bearings, okay? So it absolutely eliminates the flex that those bearings allow, all right? 
stock spacer will go in. Everything's already been pressed in here, so it'll be a nice, easy install. Now, something else that we do is we use the Glide Pro rear axle. So this rear axle will slide straight on through. Uh, it has its own nut on either side, and then we'll be using their bushings. So their bushings have an aluminum insert. They're stiffer versus the stock piece. Big difference in the two. Now with the Trask chain drive, it's your responsibility to choose a chain. So in this particular case, I've got an RK. It's a 530 XSO Z1 X-ring chain. Super strong chain, more than enough strength to deal with this motor, I hope. If not, we'll be coming up with something stronger yet. So in review, Trask swing arm versus stock. Thank you, Nick. These drive line pieces, front and rear sprocket, chain. And then to put the power towards the back, I've got the Tras billet, billet basket. So this basket uses the stock ring gear here. So this has all been removed from the stock basket. His basket's in place. It's all held in place by locking collars. Pretty slick affair. So. Day two on this build. We have made a ton of uh, obvious changes. We got the 128 inch zippers, stage four plus motor in. It's all full of fueling parts, zippers parts, dark horse crank, and bits and pieces from SNS. Horsepower ink made me a 70 millimeter throttle body. Anodized it black, kind of goes with the theme. Baker provided a grudge box, which is the six speed, regular shift. I have the Trask Checkmate that is the, it depressurizes the crankcase and also deals with the transmission venting. Now, we're going to run this with the Thundermax Autotune, which is the 21-22 model. It's the first one actually out there, literally. So, the next big obvious mod is the uh, Trask Swing Arm. It's a billet swing arm. It is extendable in length. It's in its stock configuration right now and you can change the height of the bike via the shocks. So this can be moved forward, it can be flipped, you can make this bike super tall. Right now it's in the stock location, if you will. So super trick stuff. One thing we're missing is the adjusters. We'll have them Monday. Step around the other side of the bike. See, we did Trask chain drive conversion. Uses the stock Kush drive. And this bike will ultimately be getting a set of uh, carbon fiber BST wheels. We have the JRI rear suspension. The front's been done as well. Uh, I supplied my, I got a hold of an RK chain. So strong chain, steel sprockets. Trask got us the Trask basket. We have the recluse torque drive clutch in it. And we have the dark horse comp sprocket along with the Hayden tensioner. This tensioner is nice in that it keeps things quiet. It moves up and down. But I will say one thing about that tensioner, you should check it about every 5,000 miles and make certain you don't have too much wear. You can replace the pad easy enough. So anyway, thought we'd give you a tour of the bike and we should have it running Monday. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to be notified when new videos from Cycle Solutions are released, hit the like and subscribe button to follow us.